Stampers, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps, and one of my top three project videos of all time is this pop-up box card, or some people call it an explosion box card. It is easy directions for making this, so you won't need to purchase a die to make it or anything like that. I will make it simple for you. We're featuring the Cool Treats stamp set, which is in the uh, Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog, and available as part of Stamps and Mail Club Kit, which also includes all of the pre-punched, pre-die cut collated pieces to make this card at home. So. Let me show it to you. It starts like this, and I would probably put it in the mail just like that so it's um, flat and ready to open. And then when you pop up the bottom, all the pieces open, and you have all these cool panels to see. So I'll show it to you one more time. Flat, there's a piece on the back that you can write on. Okay, mail it like this, and then, ta-da! Open it up as a box and you have all of these fun pieces that open up. And it features some of these cool die cuts from the um, Frozen Treats dies, which are also in the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. Just a really fun card and a really neat feature for this fun stamp set. So let me show you how to make this. Like I said, it's one of my top three videos of all time. So let's get stamping. So grab your pieces for this card. You can set your directions aside or you can use them if you want to um, to keep you on track as we go along. But I am going to um, talk to you first about how to score and we're going to set, there's a lot of pieces in this one, so kind of set those aside. Um, let's talk about how to score this cardstock. So the first thing I did was cut just a half sheet of cardstock. Um, I know there's a lot of directions out there for other ways to do this, um, but they're really complicated with the measuring, and I love this version because it's really simple. Um, so all you're gonna do is cut a half sheet of cardstock, so eight and a half by five and a half. You're going to score it at two, four, six, and eight inches, okay, all the way down, so kind of like a two, four, six, eight box. Then you just turn it, and score it at two and three quarters all the way down, okay? And so you're left with sort of this grid, and then you want to um, take your scissors, and you are going to cut away one corner, like this. So we have one um, panel missing, just that little tab there. And then I sometimes like to just trim um, tab corners on this piece here so that it doesn't pop out and show in a way we don't want it to. I am going to take my snips and cut down to the score line on each of these. So one, two, three lines. And this is going to make our flaps. And make sure you go all the way to the score line. It doesn't work if you stop shy, Meg. <laughs> all right. Okay. Now, um, the folding part of this, three of these panels are going to be folded out. One of them is actually going to stay straight. And if you forget and you fold it accidentally, it's okay. We're going to reinforce it later. But let me show you the easy way to um, do this. So I'm going to fold on all the panels. Um, so you could put adhesive here and try to like do it in the middle of the air and it ends up being all like crooked and messy. Um, when things are scored and they're straight, let me show you the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to put fast fuse on our tab. You could also use tear tape. Um, and then, I'm see how I've got this folded into the center? All I'm going to do is leave everything flat and bring our edge down and just press it right on there. So now I know that our card is um, square, like it, the angles are all square, and it, it folds flat, and it fits in the envelope, and all these good things. So see how easy that is? Um, on the back here, I'm going to take this piece of Peekaboo Peach cardstock and layer this on here. And this one is um, two and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches so that it layers perfectly in the back. Aha! There goes my logo. And it will give you a chance to um, just reinforce the back part so that you can write your message someplace and so forth. All right, so now we have our base card and we need to put in our inserts. So these are um, cut to three inches by two and three quarter inches and scored at a half inch and at, how big did I say they were? three inches at a half inch and at two and a half inches, which makes sense because this is two inches across here and our box is two inches wide. So um, the last version of this um, video tutorial that I shared actually only had one panel in the center. We're, we're upping the uh, excitement factor and we're putting two panels in. So we're gonna divide our card into thirds. So you'll notice I put fast fuse, um, you could also use tear tape on both of these pieces. Uh, both of those tabs and I'm going to fold them shut um, so that they're not sticking to things that I don't want them to and then I'm going to 
I kind of use my fingers to hold them down. And I'm going to place this one inside here and try and get it mostly straight. And I'm only adhering just one side. See how I've still got the side folded um, so that it doesn't uh, cause a problem. I don't want it to stick before I'm ready, except to my hand, yikes. Um, and so then what I'm gonna do is got that one side and I'm going to kind of eye where I want the other side to fit. But before I press it down, I've just got it kind of held in place with my hand. I'm actually going to close the card on it and then seal it, okay? The, the trickiest part of this is if you can't get your panels in straight, then what'll happen is you won't be able to close your card because they'll like not fold on the scores and it, it just gets tricky, okay? There's a lot of woo foldy pieces in here. All right, so we're gonna repeat the same trick for the second one, so I'm folding on those scores. Again, it's um, three inches wide and two and three quarter inches tall and I've scored it at half an inch and at two and a half inches. And same thing, fold your um, tabs in, slide it down in there. I'm gonna do just the left side attached. Kinda got it turned so I can see the top and the bottom. So I'm attaching just the left side and then I'll use my fingers to push that in. See how I've still got the side here folded flat so it doesn't stick before I'm ready. Take that off my hand. I'm going to kind of just lightly position it, but I haven't pressed the adhesive down because then I'm going to hold it from the bottom and close my card on it and see how that there, see how that there gets attached exactly where I want it. And now I have three panels or two panels inside with three sections and my card closes flat and I am ready to decorate, okay? So I have, um, four pieces of the designer series paper and these are cut to one and three quarter inches by two and a half, or one and a half inches, no one and three quarter, sorry, one and three quarter inches by two and a half inches. So they fit just inside our each of our little panels here. And I'm going to attach these. Okay, so let's work on the panels for our, or the pop-ups for our card now. So first one, really easy, the Sweetheart um, Silver Foil Punch on the piece of designer series paper um, from the um, Frozen Treats, Cool Treats uh, Suite. And that goes together. Next one is the um, Pool Party Circle. And I'm gonna grab my little sprinkles image here. And we'll just give some sprinkles kind of around the background here of our piece. So don't worry too much about getting a ton on there. And then this is going to mount onto our silver foil doily. These metallic foil doilies are my favorite. Um, <laughs> they are just a great thing to have for all kinds of projects. So I've got that here. And then we have our pieces for the um, ice cream sundae and these all go together. So these are um, one inch circle punches. I know that they don't look that big. Um, I, I had to get out my punches like three times because uh, I was sure that that was not the right size, but it is. So um, first one I like to assemble from the front. So I'm gonna put this just a little bit over halfway and then we'll put some more adhesive on the back there. Next one, peekaboo peach scoop and I'm gonna pop that up just a teeny teeny bit higher. And then the next one after that, I'm going to um, put a little bit more adhesive. Actually, I think I'm gonna pop this on here with a um, Stampin' Dimensional. But before I do, I need to attach the hot fudge, and this is a die cut. Um, all these other pieces, other than the circles, are die cut with the um, Frozen Treats Framelitz die, so super fun. And there goes on the one inch circle. And then I have a little, um, cherry here and there's a cherry die cut also and I'm going to stick that on top and then this piece here is going to get mounted on the back of our ice cream so there we have our ice cream cone or ice cream sundae and this is going to go onto our our uh, Sunday here and I'm going to put more dimensionals on the back. This is kind of a dimensional-ish card so um, sometimes when I make cards I worry about that then getting them too thick to fit in the envelope correctly. These I just heck have at it. It's it's going to be a, a fun card anyway. Okay so now we have two pop-ups for a card. The third one is these layering pieces here and I have the stamp from the Cool Tree set that says you're the cherry to my Sunday, and I'm going to grab my tip top taupe spot 
and ink this up. And since it's a bigger stamp, I always like to make sure I use my um, paper piercing mat so that I get a good image. And then this is going to layer here onto our um, Watermelon Wonder circle and our die cut circle there. And then I have um, this little scrap that was in your Stamps and Mail Club kit. I've cut out one of, wh where'd it go? Stuck to my thumb. One of these little cherries and I'm going to put some snail adhesive on the back or you could put a little tiny piece of tear tape and I'm going to pop that off to the side. So you notice that this is way up to the corner because when I put this in my card, kind of show you, um, see how it fits kind of off there to the side. All right, so now we need to go ahead and stick these onto our pieces of window sheet. And my favorite way to do this is with tear tape. Um, you just want this to be a nice strong bond. So I'm going to go ahead and put tear tape on all three of my window sheet strips. Okay, so we have those. And then I'm going to um, start attaching them. So the window sheet goes onto the back of my card like this. All right, and then I am actually gonna put another piece of tear tape at the bottom because this is going to stick our window sheet into our card. So the harder you press, the easier it is to get the backing off. And when you're positioning your pieces, so this is one of the trickiest parts of this card, you want to make sure that your pieces are not, see how that's gonna stick out the, past the top of my card? This piece here, if you want this to fit in a medium envelope, our card is four inches wide by five and a half inches tall, which means you can't go above or below and have it still fit in the envelope. You do get an extra quarter inch sort of on the left right dimension of this card to fit in the medium envelope. So you can go a little bit out the side, but not a ton. So what I like to do, I'm holding this, see how my window sheet is toward the back? It's not actually going to attach anywhere until I um, press it down. So I've got the top of my card is cleared and I'm gonna push this, um, tilt it out a little bit to the left side. And then I have closed, pinched my card closed so that now I have my piece stuck in there and that might have been a little tight on my part. Maybe you shouldn't have put it down quite so much, but I think we'll be good. So see how that's sticking out? So now basically my card is four and a quarter inches here by um, four and a quarter inches all the way across. So I can't go out on the other side also. All right, so there's our first tab. Next one here is going to be our ice cream sundae panel. And I'm going to pop this on the back and same trick with the tear tape on the front um, so that we're set here. And I'm going to, again, kind of have my card open, figure out kind of where I want that to be, and then also practice, you know, kind of having it closed. So my card is almost closed now, see here, and I'm pinching this shut so that my doily fits. Now, um, on my sample I had to trim, I might have to trim a little bit here, so. There we go. So now I pinched it shut. You just want to make sure that your window sheet is entirely on the panel. You can't have it stick to the side there or it won't uh, open correctly. All right, now see how see how this is like getting caught here? Um, this bottom of the silver doily is just a little bit too much. So you can fold it if you want to. I actually think I'm gonna just take my pair of paper snips and trim just kind of a straight line at the bottom of our doily here so that it doesn't catch quite so much. There we go, okay. So now see it flaps a little bit better and it's still kind of cute and it doesn't stick out, well, except the top, it'll be fine <laughs> um, on our card. So we have that. All right, then our last panel is to add the um, last one here with the heart and the um, designer series paper with the cherry. So I'm gonna pop my back on there. I'm gonna add another piece of window sheet and I am going to attach this one. So the, the first um, panel that we put in, the first, the cherry on top greeting is actually on the back side of this um, further back panel. Our Sunday is on the back side of the insert and our cherry on top is actually gonna go just inside the front of our card. So again, I'm gonna kind of close our card because I remember I can't go out past, I can't stick it out here or it won't go in the envelope. I can put it about there and see if that's where I want it. I'm gonna put it down a little further maybe. Let's see, I go a little bit too far. Nope, that works. Okay, so now I have our panels all assembled and there's how our card pops up. So it sits on the counter like this, it pops up, it has all these cute things inside. 
Oh, we forgot to add the little heart. There is a silver um, foil um, sheet heart, and I like to put that here on there. And what I, like I said earlier, I probably would put this in the envelope like this and write my greeting and stuff on the back. And then when the person opens it, they can set it on their desk or their table or whatever works for them. Um, this is a really fun project. And like I said, this pop-up box um, explosion card, I have a, a link um, that I can share with you for another version of this that I did a few years ago. But this is one of my most popular projects ever. And I love that the cutting directions are really simple for it. It's just a half sheet of cardstock. It's not complicated. Um, so if you need to rewind and watch the video again a few more times, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. And of course, if you haven't requested your Stamps in the Mail Club um, kit yet for the month of April, um, the other projects are this fun shaker card. We have um, this awesome um, Dutch door folding card, Dutch, yeah, Dutch door fold card like this. And we have a um, trifold card, um, peekaboo card like this, which has some fun um, ideas and techniques and folds and stuff for it too. So. Anyway, it's a great month to do Stamps in the Mail Club. Get all your pieces ready to go. I would love to get a kit to you. Um, the stamp set and the ink are included. If you already have the stamps or the inks, it's no problem. You can pick anything else from the catalog to get with your kit in place of them. So thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, come visit my website and say hi. And uh, I look forward to sharing more videos with you soon. Happy stamping!